A new campaign by Students for Life of America is adding pressure to the growing calls for statues and symbols of the founder of Planned Parenthood to be removed. Chris Dan Hawkins, the group's president, makes the case, writing in part, quote, for those identifying historical figures with racist roots who should be removed from public view because of their evil histories, Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, must join that list. And Kristen Hawkins joins me now on Skype. Kristen, so good to have you on the show again. Great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So as you know, last week, Margaret Sanger's name was removed from Planned Parenthood of Greater New York's Manhattan office. However, there are still images of her in places of honor, like the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. I know that you have said that needs to change immediately. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Absolutely. That, and that is why we launched Strikeout Sanger. And folks can go to strikeoutsanger.com right now and write to the Smithsonian. They can write the mayor of New York City as well as the mayor of Boston. Some of these central places where Margaret Sanger is still today being honored. You know, this is what the pro-life movement has been saying for decades, that Planned Parenthood was founded in racism. Not, and not only did their racism, you know, launch the organization, they today still practice racism when four out of five of their abortion facilities are within walking distance from urban minority communities, when 38 percent of all their abortions are committed on African-American women, when African-Americans make up 13 percent of our population. This is clearly a past and present situation. And this is really only a starting point. It's it's kind of, uh, for us, interesting to see some Planned Parenthood workers there in New York who are now acknowledging Planned Parenthood's racist past, but it's not enough just to acknowledge the racist past. It's now time for them to confront the racist present. Can you talk a little bit more about this new campaign that you have, SOS, Strike Out Sanger, and what do you hope to accomplish by launching it? Sure. Well, we hope that the National Portrait Gallery, the Smithsonian, will remove Margaret Sanger's bust. We hope that the New York uh, City mayor will, will strike out Margaret Sanger's name from Margaret Sanger Square there in Manhattan. And we hope that Margaret Sanger's statue is removed from the Freedom Trail, the Freedom Trail, which is there in Boston to remember the Revolutionary War heroes, the founders of our country, to remove her statue from that location as well. You know, this is an interesting time in, in American politics and what we see going on across the country. And one thing is very clear. This is an organization that was founded on the institution of racism, that birth control and abortion were solutions, proposed solutions to those who Margaret Sanger and her friends deemed as unfit, unworthy. This is a very opposite of valuing human beings and valuing the true worth and dignity of every human being. And Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood should never be honored anywhere in our nation's history, regardless of whether that's the Smithsonian or in Manhattan or in Boston. And we can talk about our history, but they don't, but she doesn't need to be honored in this way. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for coming on. We always appreciate you having, having you here on the show. Kristen Hawkins, president of Students for Life of America. Thanks again. Thanks for having me.